What's up guys, John here and uh, welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to show you how to use uh, an audio program called Voice Meter Banana. Now this is completely free and the idea is it's, uh, imagine a virtual mixer on your PC uh, where you can organize sounds, any audio from your desktop, so any games and also any audio from Discord or TeamSpeak or Skype or where you may be talking and communicating with your with your friends, your, your fellow gamers, um, you can change everything to your uh, desired levels, EQ, um, and things like that. So it's really, really a handy program to have. It took me a long, long time to learn how to use it, um, watching many videos, failing many times. Uh, so hopefully this guide will show you guys how to use Voice Meter Banana, get you set up, and... Uh, if at any time I'm going too fast and you need to pause the video, please do so. Please take notes. Uh, once you get the grasp of this, you'll find that your audio improves a lot, you know, if you're just using uh, your basic I.O. on your desktop. So let's get started. So the first two things you need, obviously, are Voice Meter Banana. Now, this is entirely free. This is the program here. So I'm going to leave links in the description below. So this is the this is the program. I'm going to scroll down so you guys can have a quick look. So this is the program. There's quite a lot of instructions and stuff. It is it is donationware. So if you like the program, you can actually donate to it. There's a couple of guides on there as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my own guide in basic English so you guys can kind of get a, a basic understanding of how this thing works. Okay. So basically, it's a virtual mixer. Okay. So download Voice Meter Banana first. Then you're going to need a virtual audio cable. I'll also put this link in the description below. A virtual audio cable is just as it says on the tin. It's a virtual audio cable. So the idea of this is you can link this. What what I do with it is I link it from Discord to my Voice Meter Banana software, which tells it it kind of tricks the PC into thinking that Discord is a piece of hardware because I've got a virtual cable connected from Discord output to my voice meter banana input okay so yeah so rather than it be an actual piece of hardware it's only discord but i want to control it separately from this mic and from my desktop so this is why i do this it may sound a little bit confusing at the, uh, at the moment but bear with me it will all become uh, clear if you do exactly what i do so i'm going to show you the uh, install those two programs i'm going to show you what i see when i have a uh, voice meter banana open now when you're using this program, you have to have it open. You can minimize it. You don't need to have it on the screen, uh, but you do need to have the program running in the background, obviously, for it to work. Now, let me explain these bits here. This one, two, and three, they are physical inputs. Okay, so you can see the first one I've got John Mike in. That's my older mic. I don't use that mic anymore. I use the Logitech mic now, and you can name these what you want. Yeah, okay, so right-click on these, and you can name them what the heck you want, okay? That's what I've done. I've named them this just to make it easy for you. So ignore this. I don't use this mic at the moment. Let's go on. Let's start. So these are inputs. Let's start with my mic. So what I've done on here is I've clicked on the input. So click on it at the top where it says microphone. You've got quite a few options here. But I try to use WDM. Uh, WDM and MME, they are exactly the same uh, same inputs but it's just different drivers so just remember that if you find that you've selected for example WMD microphone Logitech USB which is the mic I'm talking through right now if you find that uh, on the recording or whatever it sounds all choppy um, try the different driver which is the MME driver here that's exactly the same mic input but it's just a different driver you see so select that for the input it's gonna go off for a second I'm gonna click it here we go okay there we go so I've selected that as my input now, Nest microphone is now on channel three. I can control the level with this. I can press and hold this fader and do it up and down. If you double click it, it goes back to zero dB, which is default, okay? So, this is the input level. Now, all these A's and B's and whatnot that you see here, this is you telling whatever device you've selected on this input, in, in this case, it's my microphone, where to go to i'm telling this mic to go to b1 and b2 now i have set b1 which is over here look 
and B2 to two different things. So I've set B1, this is the mic to Discord. So when I'm in a Discord chat with uh, my friends, this is what they can hear. So I can turn myself up or down with this fader here. So again, double click just to put it on zero decibels, which is kind of like the default. I've also sent it to B2. So this is, I've labeled it OBS Master, um, simply because it's easier for me. So OBS Master, what you can hear me talking through now, if I hit the mute button, it will go off. Um, this is the level that I'm recording at on OBS with my mic. Okay, so are we there so far? So input, level of input, then you select your outputs on these A's and B's. At the moment, I've got B set at Discord, so my mic goes to Discord so people can hear me, and also to my recording uh, software, which is OBS. Right, very simple, I've selected those. Another input I have is my Discord. So the guys that are in my Discord, I don't use TeamSpeak, I don't use Skype, but you can use this, say it's the same theory. I use Discord as uh, a means of communication with my teammates, okay? So, whatever they all say comes through my virtual audio cable. Can you remember before when I said I wanted to control Discord separately from my desktop uh, audio? This is how I do it. So, Discord audio, this is everybody in the chat. I've got a control here, I can put them up or down. So, I want to send my Discord audio, so that's my friend speaking, to A1 and B2. So if you remember, B2 is my OBS, so when I'm recording or streaming, I want my stream or my recording to hear my, uh, my friends on the chat, otherwise I'm just talking to myself. I also send the Discord audio to A1, so that's something new. Now, A1 is my headphones or my speakers out. They are basically on my speakers. A1 is my speakers, but I've labeled it headphones because obviously I plug in headphones and I plug them into my speakers, okay? How do I send, how do I tell uh, the output of Voice Meet Bernardo that A1 is my headphones? This is simple, okay? You see these ones, A1, A2, A3, they are the hardware outputs. So I've only got A1 selected at the moment, okay? I need another audio source to go into my headphones and that is my desktop audio okay so any sounds that come out of YouTube any sounds that come out of uh, a video game any uh, anything that comes from the desktop sound I want to be able to hear on my headphones and I also want to be able to record it otherwise if I do record a video or do a stream there is no game audio on the stream, so that'll just sound bad. That'll just sound silly. Okay, so they are on desktop in, I've labeled it. And the default here is the voice meter VIO. Okay, Vo this is the voice meter, the main um, audio. This one is automatic. You don't, um, you don't select inputs on those. It's all already automatic. You can name it what you want. So if you right click up here, you can name it what you like. So I could put hello, okay? And then that's named this hello. It's just for ease of use for yourself, right? Okay. Now, this is my desktop sound. I want to send it to my headphones, which is A1. And also, I want to send it to my OBS, which is my recording or my stream. I don't want to send my desktop audio to B1 because B1 is the main level for my friends in Discord. So if I do this, see, you just click, click. When it's highlighted, that means it works. I don't want to send my own game audio to my friends in Discord. I could hear my game then, you see. So that's not good. Take a screenshot of this. We're going to move on to the next step. So just to summarize, install Voice Meter Banana, install Virtual Audio Cable. Um, if you click up the top of here, I'm telling this, can you remember when we installed virtual, uh, virtual Audio Cable? Select WDM and put Cable Output to the input here. Yeah, I'm gonna show you why now.
go down here onto the cogwheel and then you'll see this settings side thing come up voice and video go on to there and then you'll see up here input device and output device okay now this is quite strange because input device have got voice meter output so why have I got voice meter output on my input device that's weird surely it should be my microphone shouldn't it no no it shouldn't voice meter output VB audio is going in to my discord okay and I'm going to show you why in a sec can you remember this B1 that is my voice meter output okay these are all ins remember this is my voice meter output okay it's a virtual one that is the audio cable it's a virtual audio cable so whatever I say through here I can lower and raise my mic whatever goes through B1 goes into my discord okay so the output is speakers virtual audio cable speakers okay so you've got lots of different options here it's the second one down again if you need to pause anything please do so step three now you need to tell your desktop or your laptop what to use for playback and what to use for recording devices through the sound options so if you scroll down to the bottom or hold on to the, uh, the taskbar at the bottom and then right click on this little speaker right click first go up to playback devices so on playback devices you'll see a bunch of these different things scroll down and if you see on the playback device my default is on voice meter input okay voice meter input so whatever goes through my voice meter input from my desktop will come out through here this is voice meter input if I set the if I set it on this one which is the auxiliary it will be on this one which is the auxiliary okay so that is playback device by all means take a screenshot of that do exactly what I've done we'll move on to step four step four recording you need to tell your system what is the default recording device now it doesn't matter because you can see my mics going up and down there it's automatically set this mic as my default recording device but it doesn't matter because I am using voice meter banana to override this so you'll see a lot of different things going up and down here can you see these things here though this is a voice meter output and all that kind of thing it doesn't matter now step five on the OBS is a little bit different this is what I'm seeing right now it's all windowed because it just repeats itself if you use OBS you'll know what I'm talking about okay so we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna go to audio now what I want you to do here is completely disable the desktop audio device uh, the everything apart from the mic audio device and you just want this on one you want this on the aux output so if you imagine everything is mixed on your voice meter banana if you use OBS you want to have just one sound source coming into your OBS and the one sound source is voice meter banana I've set it on the voice meter aux output as you can see there's lots of different settings here disable all of the others apart from voice meter aux output again if you need to take a screenshot please take a screenshot and we'll move on to just double check and summarize okay the reason why I've only done one channel is because it's all mixed here all of it is mixed here so my B2 is my aux out okay it's a virtual aux out which goes to the input OBS okay so everything that comes through my desktop now can you see this bar moving up and down that will go up and down from my friends talking on TeamSpeak or Discord me speaking on my own mic and my audio coming out of my desktop so that could be a game or YouTube whatever usually a game obviously that is all mixed by this mixer do you understand I'm gonna call it a, a day now because this thing's been running for a while um, I don't want to over 
I'm just going to okay that. I don't want to overcomplicate things. So if you guys have got any questions or anything at all, please do comment below and I will do my very, very best to answer your questions personally and help you with your audio. This is something that took me a long, long time to work out how to do. I may have colored over a few things like the EQ and things like that, but this is the basics of Voice Meter Banana. It doesn't, it seems like it's difficult, but it's not once you get the grips of it. Okay, so any questions below, please let me know. I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.